Hi, this is Dr. Nemechek. Uh, I want to talk to you today about how we use vagal nerve stimulation to help uh, suppress metabolic inflammation in the body. This can help a wide range of medical conditions, but in particular, in terms of our Autonomic Advantage Brain Recovery Program, it has been a major, major tool in us to get uh, reversal of acute and chronic brain uh, injury from either traumatic or atraumatic uh, causes. And so just a quick review here. The autonomic nervous system is what we use to monitor uh, our brain damage and uh, it's composed of the sympathetic and parasympathetic branches. These basically control all the organs in the body, your entire immune system as well as your hormones. And this it, damage to these branches is responsible mainly f uh, you know, for most of the most overt symptoms that you'll see uh, with, uh, say, a common concussion. And this branch over here in particular, when that's damaged, uh, you have lightheadedness and headaches, poor focus, poor concentration, slowed reflexes, uh, increased anxiety. Some people think they have like low blood sugar uh, and chronic fatigue. It is a major, uh, major factor in the prolonged symptoms after brain injury. Now, the thing that prevents the brain from recovering is this process here called metabolic inflammation. We've discussed this in prior talks. Basically, it's an outpouring of uh, cytokines or chemicals from the immune system. These will cause a wide range of cells in your body to dysfunction uh, and namely will prevent concussion, uh, uh, you know, traumatic or even non-traumatic brain injury from reversing. Uh, it in and of itself will add to the underlying autonomic damage and can be a a uh, big, big cause of chronic uh, inflammatory or joint pain, poor wound healing, and so forth. Now, in terms of vagal nerve stimulation, the vagus nerve stimulates the parasympathetics. And when you have damage there, that is a major source of this. It's very hard to get the brain recover without having, uh, being able to reestablish parasympathetic function. And when <clears throat> we lower this, that's when the brain gets repaired. All right. Now, the vagus nerve, your parasympathetics that I was just talking about are carried through the vagus nerve. As you can see the vagus nerve uh, communicates with all the organs of the body and inflammation is controlled predominantly at the liver, the spleen, as well as the inflammation, uh, the small intestine, excuse me. Now, what does vagal nerve stimulation mean? Well, Going back 15 years ago, they were implanting devices in people's chests and they would wrap these, these devices were like uh, pacemakers, but instead of the wires going to the heart, the wires would wrap around the vagus nerve. And when they would do that, they had this marked improvement in epilepsy and depression. And we now have come to understand there's growing consensus that the main effect there is due to uh, increased inflammatory control at the level of the spleen, the liver, and the intestines. But we now are understanding we don't need to implant a device in the chest. That there is a branch of this nerve that comes out to the ear. It's, it's on the back side of the tragus of the ear. And if you put a gentle current here, uh, and the current's so mild you don't even feel it, you can send a stronger signal down and you get better control of inflammation. Now this is kind of what happens. Here's an example. Uh, this is a patient I've used before, but this patient had uh, this, what you're seeing here is we're measuring sympathetic and parasympathetic. Sympathetic's always red. These two are very high signals. We want the signaling in the middle. Down here we have the classic sympathetic withdrawal or weak sympathetic signal. This contributes to the low blood pressure of the head. Uh, here a little mild elevation of sympathetic response. So using a broad approach that dealt with patients over nutrition, uh, vagal nerve stimulation to calm down the parasympathetics, resetting the gut, dealing with these odds and ends over here, carb reduction, there's a variety of other things we might use with somebody. We were able to take this concussion damage, which I should add uh, had happened 30 years before, and we were able to turn him into that. All right, we're now doing this in patients and depending on their age, uh, the other kind of inflammatory uh, con considerations, like if they have autoimmune disorders or things like that, um, anywhere we can get that kind of recovery anywhere within a few months to a year. And with it, 
a large, large number of symptoms are reversed. I would like to add, uh, if you've seen our microglia screencast, where we talked about the black white blood cells that are spinning out of control that prevent this mouse from recovering. And again, this is a mouse that had SIBO or the gut bacterial problem and is not able to recover from a concussion. <clears throat> Vagal nerve stimulation in particular will suppress these uh, microglia and it gives us this uh, return to normal. These other stem cell and other restorative mechanisms are able to work and give us full recovery. So I hope that gives you a, just a little insight on uh, how we use vagal nerve stimulation. It's a very common uh, source of treatment that we use in our office. It's a very technical kind of thing. I, I uh, uh, advise against trying to do this at home, and uh, we hope to. Uh, we hope this is this screencast has been of uh, use to you. Thank you very much.